uh, peeling frozen bananas is the worst. It's going cinnamonless. Yeah. That's how oh, wait, you do that's it. That's not it. this thing I need. I was like, whoa. <laughs> there it is. Day one. Day one, like it's a like it's a special diet. Yeah. I'm only drinking smoothies for 30 days. What's up, son? What you know about this gourmet right here? I know you want to taste it. I see your face. Uh. We should go to Boulder Monday. Why? Go to 14 or get some bud, take a trip, I don't know. On New Year's Day? Oh, fuck. I forgot that Monday's New Year's Day. No, that's right. I guess. Mm hmm. Well, that's fucking banging, dude. Damn. Yeah, it's a copy of your steez. I got a little jet. baby boy want one? Little baby want a shake? <laughs> Shake out, dog. I've been doing this shit. Now he wants breakfast. Yep. Brought to you by almond milk. First blunt was rolled. Yeah, first one didn't work out too well. De-rolled. Put you on to some shit, all right? First you gotta get your high up. First you gotta throw it in there. You gotta catch it. You gotta catch it. <gasps> Give it one little, one little mist. A little breeze. Jesus Christ, is this fucking granola? For you and Sam come over later, I was give you guys a fucking joint rolling seminar. So it's neither y'all can roll. We can roll some killer bots later. I just need the tools. Fuck these hemp wraps. They don't want to respond on the internet. Little ass following. Got some issues here, honey. No, I'm just trying to make sure it stays closed. Smoothie weed gag life. Start my day every day for the smoothiest weed. Some positive vibes. A little bit of a visualization, a little visualization. Right. That's how you gotta start your day. Blunt, smoothie, positive vibes, visualization. Followed by video games. Mm. If that's what floats your boat. Mm. Pro Gamer, the road to Pro Gamer, 2018. <laughs> we gotta, that's gotta be my mission to get me into a tournament. Where, We're where we talking about you. Oh. You're not even close to a pro gamer. You, you said ain't got no next chair. year I'm gonna be. I'm just being nice. You ain't got no chair. Damn. <laughs> you ain't got no G Fuel. Damn. You ain't got no console. You ain't got no computer. First you don't got you... no controllers. You don't got. Uh, the only thing gamer you got is a gamer friend. I'm gonna kid. reach out to a computer company and tell them I'm a pro gamer who doesn't have a gaming system. You're, you could be a pro gamer. You're a potential pro gamer. I'm a potential pro gamer. You're a PP, yeah. PP gamer. Potential pro. Get um. Gonna get sponsorships. I hear the Make a Wish Foundation is looking. And hand this to Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I would. Actually, you're right. I tell Snoop Dogg to roll his own. Since he's got a bunch of high dollar trash weed. Like, go ahead, dog. Roll your own bullshit. Weezy, weezy, wazzy, wazzies. Oh, I enjoy bowling a lot. I've been enjoying it. I like it. It's right near my house. It's cheap. We go. It's something to do, and it's fun. <laughs> it's competitive. You know who else bowls? Rednecks. Name one non redneck bowler. Name one famous bowler. Can't do it. The only person you're thinking of right now is a dude from the movie. You know what movie? Big Aaron McCracken. Nope. I'm in your head, dog. No, but. I'm in your head. Whip it around in there. I, I don't need a pro a bowler to Hang enjoy it. I don't watch pro bowling. No, bowling. you would. No, I, I bet if you were flipping through this, the channels and there was a pro bowling thing on ESPN Ocho. You play Netflix Roulette. You don't know what Netflix Roulette is. It's when Ernie just turns on Netflix and hits play, and no matter what is there, we just watch. It's amazing. <laughs> it's Some the of the movies worst. I've seen. You know, there's a whole hidden section of Netflix thing. All right, it's PUBG time. Might be walk Omar time first. Let's do it. These are the hottest shits out. I'm getting like. I'm telling you, people are not.
Uh, I wanted to talk, I've, I kind of like skimmed over it because everything was happening, Christmas, all this stuff. But the Amam, I'm not gonna say this right, I don't think, but Amam Manier and Invincible did a collab. It's the last offering of the Sneaker Exchange for 2017. But Easy Mafia says Sneaker Exchange is going away after this year. I'm going to assume they're correct, but I don't know. Uh, but could have been a one year thing, I don't really know. But um, two different pairs of shoes. There's a white Ultra Boost and a black NMD. I'm still wearing a white Ultra Boost. Uh, and I said the other day that if you slept on these, that you deserve all the L's that you're gonna take for the rest of the year. And I still mean it, but I don't mean it in the sense of like, if you can't afford the shoe, uh, that's a whole different story. Desire for the shoe or like respecting the shoe is enough for me. You don't have to cop to appreciate. Um, no way am I trying to like make anyone feel weird or like a loser or anything for not spending money. That's preposterous. But now that's out of the way. If you're hating on the shoe, you're ridiculous. But this is the Ultra Boost, all white Ultra Boost. So I know that it's kind of weird that I'm gonna go uh, this into it. But I love this shoe. Like this is an amazing, amazing shoe, and it even has some downfalls, which uh, into it. It's um, the best triple white version of an Ultra Boost ever, in my opinion. This beats the 1.0 because it's an uncaged. I mean, this is essentially like a soul box uncaged Ultra Boost for 2017. I mean, I totally understand some people not wearing white shoes. So if you don't wear white shoes. I get it, like, I didn't wear white shoes for a long, long time. You know, like, I just didn't. But now I love white shoes because I have so many. So there's a few reasons, like, off top, you'd probably pass on this shoe. But if you're into white shoes and you're into Ultra Boost, this thing is amazing. Like, the knit on it is just, like, beautiful. Like, the shoe is beautiful, gorgeous, I would even say. The knitting on it is just super, super nice and open. They reverse the pattern. It's like a reverse 1.0. So this is all solid and everything else has the, uh, I would call it, like, perforation. Uh, super Super, super sick, like, whoa, whoa. Give me that light, son. Laminated eye stay, Just the lacing area. Uh, leather on the tongue, you got the dual branding, invisible, Invin sorry, invincible. May have said invisible earlier. Um, and then I'm on my year. But yeah, super nice. Like, I mean, just like for a triple white colorway, amazing. Everything's whited out, white boost, white, white boost, white cage, white upper. This has a little bit of a cream color to it. There's a little bit of cream stitched into the toe as well. And um, yeah, just super sick. Leather insole. So the way this one fits is pretty funny. Uh, there's a little bit of room in the toe. It's, it fits a little bit bigger. People are gonna be like, is this like 1.0, 2.0, 3.0? It's not really like any of them because it fits completely different, which I'm imagining is the lack of cage makes this a little bit tighter. The, the ankle is a little bit tighter. It almost just feels, it almost feels like it's too tight at first, but it, it definitely wore out today. It's fine. So I could probably have half size down if I remove the insole, but I don't know if the tightness over here makes up. I, I don't know if I'd want to. I'm sure I could if I absolutely had to, but um, yeah, so if that toe room is going to bother you, if you don't, you know, you know your foot. So if you think that's going to bother you, maybe half size down, but be prepared for the ankle to be just a little tighter. Uh, white laces with this. I don't believe this came with extra laces. I can't remember. This morning was so long ago. Um, but yeah, no, I don't think any extra laces with this one. Um, leather insole with dual brand. Ending. And then, yeah, it's pretty much it. I mean, it's an all white shoe, so there's not much to say about it other than it's just straight up gorgeous. Like, it's just super pretty. The wool on this has a ca is a cashmere wool. Super luxe. This should have been called the Lux Ultra Boost. Hands down, I don't know how anyone could argue it versus the actual Lux, but this should have been it. It isn't, but it should have been. I don't know why, but that is the Ultra Boost from the sneaker exchange collab. And then this is the NMD, which is another tonal muted colorway NMD. But again, like just super luxurious and just really nice. Patterning on it is amazing. I really love, so this is what this shoe looks like. I really love the pattern on this. A lot of people were talking, you can't see this at all. A lot of people were talking trash saying it looked like a fake NMD with like an ultra boost upper. But this looks beautiful. The knit, again, super nice. Has a cashmere, like super soft wool. Leather hits everywhere. You have the leather dual tongue branding. Consortium hole punch, of course. There's leather heel tab. A regular NMD heel pull, but there's no, um, there's no lettering, which is interesting. And then also, 
leather lacing system, and then again, another leather insole. But this one does not come out. Some people were saying they felt like it's fit different. It does feel a little different. It's a little tighter, but it's not true to size is what I would say. I just don't have size down. I just don't think this fits like a regular PKNMD where you're gonna want a size down on it. So this is definitely just more of a wool upper. So it's just got a little bit difference in the PK, but not too crazy. Raised three stripes on the NMD as well. And then the Adidas is white on white on the brick. So super nice, super sick. Both pairs are super dope. I love them. I, you know, people are always, what's collab of the year? What's this, what's that? It's hard to say. Like I am not good at top lists because if I could pick things, I wouldn't have all this stuff. This is up there. I mean, and it's just a black and white shoe, but just the thought and the, the prettiness of it, you know, like, People are always 1.0, 1.0, 1.0. I mean, this is beautiful. It's super open. It kind of where we're going with the Climacool Ultra Boost. I mean, this is like, I really think this is a beautiful shoe. So I think they're both beautiful. Uh, but not for everybody, I get it. But I don't know. Y'all know, guys. I can't call collab of the year. It's so hard. This is a great collab. This is a, these are great shoes have really cool features. The Packers collab has so much thought put into it. it. has a cool story. I mean, there's just so much. It's hard for me to pick. I don't know if I will pick. I don't really have to pick. And that is the beauty of life. I'm a Meniere that I may still be saying wrong, which is in Atlanta. And the Invincible, which is in, is in Taiwan, I believe. As far as the inspiration for this shoe goes, both parties, Invincible, Ma Meniere, uh, owners, are fans of interior design and simplicity and luxury, and these two shoes are supposed to represent the uh, love for that. So, boom, boom, boom. That's the shoe. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I've got a little bit of stuff to do, cleaning, yada, 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 stuff no one cares about. And yeah, I hope everybody has a good New Year's. I hope you guys had a good holiday. I will be back on Monday, I'm sure. Live stream all weekend. Maybe something will happen this weekend on YouTube. I don't really know. Um, yeah, but I should be back on Monday. So hopefully you're all here and safe and not in jail and not hung over and no black eyes and just walk away from fights and arguments and be positive. Try, okay? Because New Year's is a shit show. Be safe, all right? Love you guys. Peace. So you hit that way? No, I hope you hit him into the street all day. They don't want none. Oh, uh, no. What? 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 You don't think I can hit a baseball from there to there? Over that fence? Uh, Do you want to go to play it again sports right now? We'll go get a baseball and a bat. No. Love? No. Are you sure? No, my chest hurts. And it... All right. Well, when you get recovered. Yeah. Son, I'll have that street lit up like motherfucking New Year's, boy. We gotta get Josh out here to pitch to you.